Hi, this is Scott here at Highlight Technologies, here to show you how to use some of the more advanced features of Outworlder. This is meant to be a sort of follow-up to our Outworlder Basics video, going over some of the features I didn't cover then. So if you haven't already, I suggest watching that one first. Also, remember that the manual is available on the Outworlder CD, so you can always check there for some more help if you need it. Like I mentioned in the basic video, the best way to learn this stuff is to practice it yourself. I suggest that you spend some time experimenting with these features after watching the video and see what you can learn. You never know, you might come up with some cool new use for Outworlder or find something you didn't know. There are a few files of sample artwork in the folders on the installation CD to practice with it if you need it. Now let's get started. First, I'd like to mention the function of all these restore defaults button throughout the program. As you may recall, Outworlder saves the settings from the last time it's processed an ornament. These restore defaults buttons simply restore the current page's default settings. This restore all defaults button in the main menu restores all the settings throughout the entire program. Alright, let's take a look at some advanced features for word welding. Down here, you may notice the Size Overrides feature. This feature allows you to force the text to maintain a certain size. To use this feature, check this box and adjust the height in this menu. Here, you can adjust the boxes to tell it to maintain a certain width, height, both, or you can tell it to maintain a specific aspect ratio, modifying only the width, the height, and the other one will stay this well, adjust accordingly, rather. That way, the text doesn't distort. Over here, there's the contour feature. This box allows the size of the text to be increased by a specific amount. Essentially, this setting just expands the text in all directions by this number in inches. This feature is especially useful for making the text either more bold or for strengthening the t connections between the letters. Skinny letters tend to break more easily after they've been cut into a material. Next up, let's take a look at the file option for the interior settings. This feature allows the shape or piece of artwork to be used for the ornament's interior. For an example, let's look at one of the example files on the Outwelder CD. This is weightlifter.cdr. As you can see here, all this is is a simple outline of a weightlifter shape. That's perfect. So let's take a look at it and how it looks in our Welder. Opening our Welder again, we're going to select Use File for Interior, and we're going to select Weightlifter. Let's just use the default exterior. call that good. As you can see here, the edges of the artwork are welded to the exterior frame, forming a single ornament. Like with the text, the connectivity with the exterior can simply be changed up in this menu here. Outworld is not just limited to simple artwork either. Let's have a look at this flower design. It's also from the Outworlder CD. Here, you can see how the program welded the edges cutting lines with the cut lines of the exterior, while maintaining the raster and vector engraving lines of the artwork. You can even use your own artwork in the exterior, allowing you to use personalized art logos, whatever else you can think of as an ornament. While not being able to immediately integrate all files, any artwork can be used with a little bit of modification. Take a look at the Artwelder manual for a description of how to do this, or you can watch our Artwelder in depth using your own artwork video for a little tutorial. Okay then, moving on. Let's take a look in the exterior settings. Down here, 
Notice that this No Hango setting is selected by default. Unchecking this box will produce a small hango loop at the top of the ornament, so maybe hanged up easily as a Christmas tree ornament or something like that. Let's see what that looks like. The default exterior, of course. Here's the hanger right up here. Now, if you want to modify the dimensions for the hanger, you can change them over here with the side of this window. Modify any of the dimensions here for the hanger. You may notice that the settings for the thickness and size of the, size of the ornament's exterior can be changed down here as well. Now, without a special frame, the exterior of these ornaments can start to look a little bland. To remedy this, let's ex investigate the border settings feature. This adds a repeating shape around the border of the ornament, or around the inside of the exterior. Under this menu, you can modify the border for both the inside and outside edges of the exterior ray. First, make sure that you check these boxes if you want the borders to display. Next, you can pick pre-made border from one of this list, or you can use one of your own files from here. This slide bar changes the number of times the pattern will appear around the border. Let's do a quick demonstration for this part. Let's run an ornament with, say, no interior. For a border, we will, uh, say, let's use a star pattern. And for the inside, let's use a semicircle. Let's not use a hanger for now. And let's process. And as you can see, the star pattern is repeated around the outside of the ornament, while the semicircle pattern is repeated on the inside. Let's do another example. This time, I'm going to use a custom border. Like with the artwork, I'm going to use one that's included with the art welder CD. This is called the leaf outline border. I'm going to use a hanger too, so we can see how that looks as it incorporates it with the border. As you can see, the hanger up here was welded into the border. Now, Remember, with this feature, you're able to make your own fancy borders. For a quick tutorial on how to make effective borders, you can find one in the Art Welder Manual, or you can watch our Art Welder In-Depth Creating Your Own Borders video. And that's it. You've now seen all of the settings and features available to you in Art Welder. If you need some explanation of the features, or some guidelines to creating your own artwork or borders for Art Welder, take a look at our In-Depth videos, or read over the manual on the Art Welder CD. I hope you enjoy using Art Welder and its range of very powerful features.